Well, it's lagging here. Um, I've finalized my design for my killing mechanism on the birdcage. Um, so this is what this is what the wiring is. And it'll probably be a lot simpler when I build it in my world. This is just kind of the troubleshooting. So basically, this switch closes the gates that uh, allow mobs to drop down to the killing floor here, and this opens this up. So, um, as you can see, I've got my... Still, I'm using too many items. Um, I wonder... So, this is just safer. I had them connected to one switch, but it's a lot safer this way. So, I'm going to uh, basically doing my doing the birdcage as part of a whole larger plan, um, which is that I want to eventually find a stronghold and go to the Ender and you know kill the dragon. Um, but I don't have any Ender pearls, which are obviously needed. So. I'm um <clears throat> so I'm making a killing mechanism so I can get ender pearls so I can make eye of enders so I can go there. So I'll see you in my let's play world. Alright guys, I'm back here in my let's play world. Um haven't done much since my last I played. I made a elevator here. This is using a technique made by, or I saw a video of it by Monkey Farm. I'll put him in the put a link to him in the description. But it's a brilliant idea. I'll show you how it works. This is going down to a new slime farm because my old slime farm was kind of impractical, especially with the new changes to slimes. Um, there's minecarts resting on ladders, and so you can go up incredibly quickly. And once you hop out of the boat, you can just walk around. So that's, that's my elevator down there, and that's basically all I've done. Um, I think I haven't been playing very much lately because I've been busy with school. So, let's go build this thing. Alright, so I'm going to have to switch it to peaceful just because I don't want to have mobs building up in my face. So once I, um, once I build a killer for this, I'm going to decide what I want to do with this area. Um, it's, oh, I forgot to... I need to go make some, um, some stone bricks. I guess I'll just use cobble in the meantime, or dirt. But I need to cook, start cooking up some stone for that. Um, I have two goals, or a few goals. One is to finish the killing mechanism on birdcage so I can, uh, yeah, so I can get mob drops, lots of TNT and all that. Another one is to finish up my new slime farm so I can get lots of slime balls so I can make piston things. And um, the last one is to start a mine so I can get lots of diamonds. <laughs> Basically, I just want to get lots of resources. And somewhere in there, I'm going to make get a whole bunch more sand from the desert because I'm I'm not running low, but I like to have a ton of it just just for safety's sake. Um. So.
Yeah, so I'm going to... I might have to go back to my testing world just to figure out the wiring. Um, I may also have to... Um, I may also have to... You know, just... Uh, I may have to do voiceover record voiceover for the um for the for the building or like just put it to music or something because I don't think they'll be able to um don't think they'll be able to concentrate on building building a redstone thing. Um, so, all right, so let's see, nope, there, and there, and these get, no, these get this, and this, This goes here. So, as you can see, it's, it's going to be kind of a laborious process to replicate this. Um, so, I'll be back when I finish that up. Bye bye.
Alright, everybody, I'm back, and that's not right. Oh, right. Um, I just realized I forgot some redstone wiring. I forgot to fix it. Um, so I'm back. Got this stuff all done. Or almost all done. I need to make this. It's kind of inconvenient to have this uh this stuff here. It's it's it was a challenge to do this just because it was uh, there's so much stuff that you need to put in this one little area without it conflicting without it going onto the top either. But I believe it should work now. I need to make another repeater. Yeah. Um, so what I'm doing now is I finishing up this redstone wiring and I need to go get some lava. Um, I haven't really found a... I haven't made a good place for you. Know, um, got a good place for lava yet, so I'm going to have to go to one of my caves. It's a ways away, though. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're going next. As soon as I finish this. Uh, so... I'm going to finish this up, and I'll see you when I get there. Alright guys, so I'm back. Um, this is over by the slime farm, kind of. Um, there's a whole bunch of lava. And there's some redstone. I may get that. It's over by the old slime farm. Um, I just gathered as many buckets as I had room for in my inventory at the time. So, because I, I don't want to go and get uh go back here to get lava again so I guess this is eight buckets uh oh dang just ruined a block of lava no um again that's my problem um so Now let's see, that was fast, I'm going to put this stuff back here so I don't accidentally burn myself. Uh, <laughs> I have a way too full inventory, I'm going to have to do something about that. But I'm almost done here. I still have to replace the cobblestone with stone bricks though, but I have the, um, I have the stone to make stone bricks, which, so that, that won't be too hard. So I think that the, for this episode's over, I'll just, I think I'll just go back and then test out with lava with monsters and see if it works and then that'll be it. So I'll see you when I get back. Alright, so I'm back. Um I just emptied out my inventory so I'm here. I kept two bucks of lava though of course. Uh and I'm going to test this out. I'm excited. Um I found this there's this weird bug in my system where 
if those are out and I try and open the gate, then it won't open, which actually is a good thing because that way I can't open this and have mobs come streaming out at me if I accidentally opened it. But it's kind of annoying because it's not quite what I wanted. Um, so that's seven, six. So, let's try it out. It's an exciting moment for me. Um, I, I'm not sure about the whole, like, uh, mobs not moving if they're too far away thing in the birdcage. Because, um, you know, mobs won't spawn, I believe, if they're within 22 blocks of you. And, but they guess they won't move if they're, um, more than 40 blocks away or something around there. So it's, um, it's kind of a conundrum. So I don't think I get good spawn rates if I'm just chilling here. Yeah. Uh, because I, I'm not. The mobs at the very top are moving or spawning. So I guess I'll just chill here somewhere, maybe. I can I can see the bottom that way too. So we'll wait for some mobs to fall down, I guess. Uh up, oh, I hear something. Some mobs die from fall damage, that's, that's part of it too. Wait, where's this creeper? Thank you. Hey, it works. Here's what I can do, I can, I can show you my system here. So basically, it's just like the one in my testing world. Um, this closes the top so they can't fall down from the killing floor. This one opens it. Um, so we can go up here to get good spawn rates and then we can let them pile up. And then we can kill them. We can kill them all. <laughs> so I think I'm probably in a good spot right here. And I'm just going to chill here for a while until I get some good build up in the mob trap. So I'll be back then. Okay, well, guys, um, I don't think I've had any build up really here, but I think my episode is getting exceptionally long. So. I'm going to kill these these three jerks and then then I'll end it there. Bye bye.